Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making loaded cauliflower. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm so glad you're here, because we have an amazing dish for you tonight. It's a very comforting dish, loaded cauliflower. So we're just gonna hop right in. We're gonna start with our mushrooms first. Yes, I said mushrooms. Even though in the original recipe for loaded cauliflower, there are no mushrooms, but they typically use bacon, which we're not going to use. We're gonna make our own little tasty tidbits of bacon with mushrooms. So I already have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and the printable recipe will be in the link in the details below. So I have eight ounces of mushrooms, just sliced regular baby, or just regular button mushrooms. And we're gonna put two teaspoons of tamari. And this is a low sodium tamari, but you can use the regular strength if you want, or a so uh, soy sauce, that'll work just the same. And then we have a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And this is going to emulate that flavor, some of that smoky flavor that bacon has. A little bit salty, a little bit smoky. So you just wanna mix them up pretty good, just so you get them all pretty coated, pretty evenly coated. Okay, and then I have a baking tray here just lined with parchment paper so that it doesn't stick. I'm just gonna spread those out on. And we're gonna lay them all flat, make sure they're all, you know, not touching each other because we want them to kind of dry out. So once they go in, they're gonna release all of their moisture and then they're gonna start to dry out and they're gonna turn into these nice little chewy bits of flavor. All right, so now I'm gonna stick these in the oven for 15 minutes. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. So while our mushrooms are cooking, we're gonna get our cauliflower ready. So this was one pretty decent sized head of cauliflower that I just broke up into florets like this. Pretty bite sized uh, florets. And I've got my saucepan here. We're gonna put this on medium high and I've already put a couple cups of water in there. What we're doing is we're gonna just lightly steam these before we put them in our casserole dish. Essentially, we're, we're pre-cooking them just a little bit so that it doesn't take so long to cook in the oven. So I'm just gonna put these in my pan. And we're gonna steam them for about 10 minutes. You just want them so that they're just starting to soften. So we're gonna cover them with our lid and let those cook. So I'm gonna clear this stuff out and I'm gonna get our sauce ingredients together to show you. All right, now onto the sauce. I'm using sauce instead of what's typically used in loaded cauliflower, which is just oodles and oodles of cheese. So we're gonna use my nacho cheese sauce, which if you haven't tried it before, you are going to love it. It's one of our favorite things. So I have a cup of cashews. These are just raw unsalted cashews. Couple tablespoons of raisins, just to give it a little bit of sweetness, kind of that umami flavor. One teaspoon of smoked paprika and one teaspoon of onion powder. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. One teaspoon of tamari. And two tablespoons of white wine vinegar but you could use apple cider vinegar too, that works just as well. 
I just like the flavor of this a little bit better. It's just a little milder. Apple cider vinegar sometimes is a little bit punchy for me. And then one cup of water. And then we're just going to blend this until those raisins and cashews are completely pulverized and you have a really silky smooth cheese sauce. All right, there we have our cheese sauce. So now we just have a few minutes left for the mushrooms and for the cauliflower. So we're just gonna wait for that and then we'll put it all together. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, ebooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. All right, our cauliflower is cooked, our mushroom bacon is cooked, now we just need to assemble this guy. So I have a casserole dish here. You need to have something that has a lid or you'll have to cover it some way uh, while it's cooking because you want all of that steam and everything and all that heat to stay in there and finish cooking that cauliflower. So I already drained our cauliflower and I'm just gonna pour it here in my bowl. Whoops, so we have some other things to put on it. So cauliflower, you should be getting that in your diet. This is one of those cruciferous vegetables along with mushrooms. They're loaded with all kinds of cancer-fighting nutrients. So you need to get as much of these types of food into your diet. And this is the perfect, delicious way to do it. So I have a half cup of low sodium vegetable broth. a teaspoon of dried parsley, a teaspoon of oregano, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, three cloves of garlic, very finely minced, and then some cracked pepper. We're just gonna stir all this together to get all of that cauliflower really coated well. Oh, the smells already. That, that mushroom bacon, mm, love that smell. Okay, that's good enough. Now we got our casserole dish here, and I believe this is a three quart casserole dish. So that should be plenty of room. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Spread it out a little bit. And then we're gonna pull over, boy, that's still pretty hot. I wanna grab that pan. I'm just gonna grab the paper. And I did leave the mushrooms in for five extra minutes because I really want them to be nice and chewy. So we're just gonna sprinkle them. I'm gonna make sure I get all of those. I'm just gonna spread them across the top here. Maybe eat one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, and then for the sauce. Now this is completely up to you how much of this you use. You don't have to use all of it, but you do have to use a pretty decent amount because you really want it to get down in there really good because it's, you know, there's quite a bit of cauliflower in there. And they don't call it loaded cauliflower for nothing. All right, see I have a little bit left. But you know what that's perfect for? Steamed vegetables, some corn chips. It's good, 
on everything. All right, now we're gonna put the lid on and our oven is still on 400 degrees, so we're gonna put it on for 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it. Okay guys, it is out of the oven. Come on in for a look. Let's check it out. Oh, oh my goodness, the smell. Mm. All right, I'm gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. All right, time to dig in. Let's get some of this. Oh, yum. Make sure I get some of those little mushroom chunks. Oh, the smell, it just smells so warm and comforting. Mm. Oops, too big of a chunk here. Mm. 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 I love cauliflower so much. Mm. But what makes it even better mm, is that cheese sauce and those mushrooms. It's just a little explosion of flavor in there. Wow. Mm. You're gonna wanna eat this one over and over and over again. Mm. So be sure to give this video a like guys and come on back next week for another great recipe.